So this is where you can start to get a little bit clever with how you use your needlepoint stitches. So check out the mosaic stitch video if you haven't seen it already because this one is condensed mosaic so it's taking that stitch and changing it slightly. So in mosaic stitch it works in horizontal and vertical rows. So if you like that stitch but your design doesn't really warrant um, horizontal or vertical rows, you've got diagonals, you can condense the stitch and then you've instantly got a diagonal stitch but using the same style stitch. So it's a really clever way of just changing the format of the stitch while still using the same stitch. So this is what it looks like here. You can see these diagonal rows. And if you just look at one stitch, that stitch at the top, you can see your mosaic square in there. So mosaic stitch is made up of small squares put together. There's a long stitch across the middle and a short one either side. And then in mosaic stitch um, and plain mosaic stitch, you take that square and you put another one next to it. We're going to squash them up against each other now and work them vertically. So normally in mosaic stitch there would be a space here and then the next stitch would start. We've taken out the space and we've squashed them together to make one long diagonal row. So we've still got our little mosaic stitches, our long one in the middle and our two short ones, but we're just going to squash them together now. So I'm going to work down here and show you that. Now where they go together this is quite important is how you put this stitch together so here's my little short stitch there it comes up straight over one of the intersections and di down diagonally opposite so it's two holes that one is so the next row along that comes down here will be the three holes the three holes goes next to the two holes so i'll start that off and you'll see what i mean by that so I'm going to come up away from the stitch and take my needle down towards it, diagonally across three holes, two threads. So one, two, three holes. That's the same hole as the previous row. So there's the middle of my mosaic square. That's the middle stitch. So either side of the middle stitch goes a little short stitch. So there's my short one. One, two holes, shares that hole with the previous row finish off that little square and come down and do the other short stitch there. And you'll see now that the short stitch over the two holes meets up with the long stitch of the previous row. So they alternate. You shouldn't have two long stitches next to each other or your rows won't fit together. So it should be a long stitch and a short stitch and a long stitch and a short stitch. So now you've got your first square in. You shouldn't need to do any counting. You can just continue down. So there's my short stitch. So now it goes short stitch, long stitch, short stitch, long stitch. So now I'm going to put my long stitch in. One, two, three. It meets the short stitch of the previous row. There's, so that's the long stitch. That's the middle of my square of my mosaic. So then I put the short one in. So each block of mosaic sort of shares a stitch, shares the short one. So there's a long one. And there's the short one. And once you've started, that's all there is to it. A really nice, easy stitch. Just a long and a short. It's just getting it started. So just make sure you're doing the opposite stitch. If you've got a long one here, the next one will be a short one. We just push those blocks of mosaic squares together now. And it just makes it a nice diagonal stitch. So if you want to use mosaic, but you need a diagonal stitch, then use condensed mosaic. And that works for a lot of the square stitches and I'll cover some more, so check out the other videos. All the way to the bottom. And if you've seen the basket weave video, this is very similar to that, but with an extra long stitch. That's all short stitches. This is a long one and a short one. So they're all variations on each other and then if you want to go back up again you can start at the bottom and go back up so a good stitch will just going back and forth you can go up and down you don't need to go the same way each time so just think about how you start so we put a long stitch in there's my three so the next one will be a short one that joins that and then it will be three if you want to kind of count your way back you can if you want to go one two three you can do that but stitch it this way, stitch so the needle goes down into that hole. Much neater a way to stitch. And then off we go again. So there's my short one, there's my long one. And back up the other way. 
So that's condensed mosaic stitch.